Right. So some students are back to online learning just weeks after starting in-person learning again at one school in Cumberland County. Uh, CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is live at Beaver Dam Elementary School where those COVID-19 cases have already shut them down. Bridget, how long are they going to have to be remote? Well, Rod, at least through the end of next week, and then they're going to reevaluate to see if it is safe to bring them back to in person learning. And this is not the only school in the district being affected right now by COVID. This is how this stands at Jack Britt High School's football field will stay for the time being empty. Of course, there's disappointment. We know how important Friday night lights um, can be, but at the same time, our top priority is the safety of our students and staff and our families. The Cumberland County School District says they've identified COVID clusters within the football teams at both Jack Britt and Cape Fear High Schools. They've canceled practices and games as everyone recovers and quarantines. It was a difficult decision to make, but it was the right decision. Decision. COVID's also hit another one of the district schools, Beaver Dam Elementary. They move classes to being remote through the end of next week due to the staffing shortages it's caused. Every decision that we make, we are consulting closely with the experts, the health officials. Lindsay Whitley with the district says they're treating schools on a case by case basis. We are really trying hard to keep our schools open um, for in person learning. However, we won't hesitate to transition to remote learning if needed. The district's not currently tracking how many staff members are vaccinated, but encouraging everyone to get their shot. And other districts have required it. Is that something you all would consider? Possibly. Um, I wouldn't take that off the table at some point. However, I would say right now it is not a requirement. It is a um, recommendation. A strong recommendation, and they hope that these cases and what's happening at this school and the two high schools will be a lesson to the others to really take those precautions seriously right now. And the school district also says that they're still doing contact tracing alongside the health department at this school and the high schools to see just how many people may be affected. We're reporting live in Cumberland County, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget, we know you'll keep us posted on that. Thank you. Students at two schools.